Hello everyone, my name is Heather Moorfield Lang and this is my YouTube channel Tech15. Today I'm going to be telling you about a listening comprehension online tool titled ListenWise. You can find ListenWise at ListenWise.com and if you're wondering how it works, it's very simple. You can click on how it works. It'll tell you about podcasts, assessment, plans, and features if you're interested in the options for free as well as premium and you can go to how ListenWise works and what ListenWise is actually all about. It's about listening comprehension, stories given to you through NPR, as well as reading and quizzing opportunities that you can use with your students and working with your students through the power of stories. Currently, there's really nothing out here like ListenWise and I really like what it offers. ListenWise also gives you lessons. Uh, specifically in the areas of social studies, science, as well as English language arts. You can also search lessons, which I'll show you in a moment. They also have material on current events, and they tell you about what their work is all about, their blogs, as well as their research. So let me show you quickly how to use ListenWise, at least in kind of a quick format. It's actually pretty easy to use. In general, if you're looking at the different tools that they have here, let's see if I wanted to use uh, the science one on Extreme Heat. When you click on Extreme Heat, you're going to see Listen to the Story. They have short stories, usually somewhere between five to eight minutes from what I've been able to see. You're going to get an overview of the story, the level that it is good for as well as the challenge level whether it's low middle and high and then you're going to get to find out about the teaching resources and what is available if you already have a login you can log in or you can join for free you can answer whether you're a teacher student and then you fill out the information very easy to use you do not have to sign up solely with Google you can also sign up using just an email and a password now say that I wanted to search for the materials that they had on a specific subject. Let's say I wanted to find something on civil rights. So I can look for civil rights. I can actually look in different subject areas. I can choose language challenges. And while the stories are being read to your students, it will actually show the transcripts highlighted while the stories are being read out loud told by NPR and it will slow down for higher level languages. It can speed up. You can do all different types of levels. This is a tool a little bit easier for middle and high school. You can also look for lesson plans, lesson plans with quizzes, lesson plans with English language learner support, as well as current events. And then you can also see all my library friends with topics, keywords, and subjects. So if I wanted to look at lunch counter protests of the civil rights era, I'm from Greensboro. This is actually a area and a story very well an event actually very close to my heart um, you can click on the lunch counter protests in the civil rights era you can listen to the stories you can find out more about it you'll see this story is five minutes long you click on the story to listen to it and then you can find out about their full access of library of lessons current events, comprehensive questions, graphic organizers, and much, much more. And then they give you more stories that are related to that story if you would like to continue. This is a wonderful tool brought to us by NPR. Um, you can see further how it works, more of the stories. It is growing continuously all the time. Wonderful tool. Highly recommend that you check it out. Hope you enjoy. I know that I have been very interested in this tool myself. It is a recent American Association of School Librarians Best Website winner. Thank you so much for listening. We'll have more new tools ready for you on Tech 15 soon. Thanks so much. Have a great day.